Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to another Morning Word. Thanks for joining us this morning. For those new to this, this is where we share a couple minute video really to share from my own personal Bible study. Why? Because I genuinely want to see your life go from here to here. And God wants the same. And the reason I say that is that God left us this promise. He says, I come to give you life and life more abundantly. Well, one of the ways that we do that, so God just didn't give us the promise, he actually gave us the actions that we need to do. He says, as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. So the more that we can think like God, okay, there is no valley that you can't come through and no mountaintop that you can't reach because there is nothing that is impossible for God, which means that there will be nothing that is impossible for you. Now, one thing I should say, please, if you're listening to this, study out for yourself. I'm gonna give you the scriptures, go and study for yourself. And if it resonates, if it makes sense, then please take massive action because listening alone, Okay, faith without deeds is dead. So listening alone is not good enough. You've got to be able to take action on this. And that's when you'll see the fruits of God's wisdom. So today's scripture inspiration comes from um, 2 Samuel, which is the 10th book of the Bible. And we're reading from chapter 9, verse 3. And it reads this. The king, this is King David, asked, Is there no one still left in the house of Saul to whom I can show God's kindness? We're going to call this morning's words, God's hand of kindness. Now, if you listen to... Uh, video 457, okay, yesterday's video, you would have seen we were talking about how David was incredibly passionate uh, and just grateful to all the things that God had done in his life. He had been from a shepherd, okay, to a warrior, to the king of one of the greatest nations at the time, you know, the nation of Judah and the nation of Israel. He had wealth, he had success, and he was incredibly grateful. And he wanted to show, okay, the previous king, King Saul, who, was, who had died, Okay, just to say, look, I want to show someone else kindness. The kindness that God has given me, I want to be a vessel, <coughs> apologies, a vessel of that kindness. So he wanted to do that. So he went on to uh, bless one of Saul's children and bless him to say, like, you never have to worry about work. You never have to worry about your finances. Come and live with me. So he became a blessing and it became God's hands a blessing. So what can we learn from this? God, just like David, will bless you. But then God wants you to take that blessing and go and bless someone else. You're meant to be a vessel of God's glory. You're meant to be a vessel of God's kindness. And the, the way that God spreads his love across the world is through your hands. You are the hands of God. Understand that. When you do something great for someone, that's God's hands at work. So the question is, are your hands open to be able to do that? And that really leads us to the question of the morning. The question of the morning is this. Are you willing to be the hands of God's kindness and God's love? Are you willing to be the hands? Here's a lesson of the day. God desires to partner with man to show his love and kindness to the people of the world. <coughs> Apologies there. God wants a man to be a vessel of his blessings. God wants to use someone to say, lad, you know what? I'm going to flow rivers of blessings through you, but I want your hands to deliver that to other people. That's what God's looking for. But if your hands are closed, God can't use you. But if your hands are open, God's like, yo, do you know what? That's the person I'm going to help. And I'm going to bring great success <coughs> to them. Sorry about that. Great success to them. So here's the action of the day. The action of the day is this. Become a vessel of God's kindness by seeking to help others. And watch God start to use you. Watch blessings start to come your way. Because God knows that you will be a vessel of his blessings. So thanks for joining us. As we always say, we gen hope God's gift to us is life. What we do with that life is that I give back to God. Please subscribe to Gen TV where you get these videos Monday to Friday, but more importantly, you get a bank of videos talking about love, talking about personal development, finances, fitness, everything to take your life to the next level. And we ask nothing of you but to be the very best that you were called to be. I ask one favor though, please share this video with one person. And if you don't share the video, just share the principle. Because I really believe <coughs> if we get one more person to be a hand of kindness, we could change the community. And if we can change the community, I truly believe that we will go on to change the world. So God bless you, and I'll see you soon for another morning word.